Hi everyone, welcome to our second In The Loop. We launched this back in January and we've had lots of content and questions on our discussion board ranging from the 10 economic priorities to a whole host of other issues. So today we're going to respond to what was the hottest topic um, over the last few weeks, network connectivity. I have a very special guest today, Karen Gerrity, our Chief Information Officer, and she's going to talk to us around a range of these issues. So Karen, um, can you talk to us, given the, the size and shape of Duna, what is the problem that we're talking about here? So Duna is actually quite unusual as a department because we have a what we would call big footprint. We have lots of regional and remote sites that we need to connect back to the city and back to the system so we can share and collaborate on documents and um, files. So for instance, we have six sites that can only be accessed by satellite communication. We have over 25 that are on the mobile network and a lot of that is uh, still 3G instead of 4G. And so we have lots of different, very small areas and quite remote locations. Can you explain what connectivity looks like for some of the people in, in our offices, say in a town like Murray Bridge or Barrie? So in, in the regional centres we have very good connectivity. Uh, the challenge there can be the number of people, the type of work they do and the connectivity combined. In the CBD everything is on fibre and that is probably the best connectivity you can get. And then we have some offices that are very remote, like in Aminka, and some that are only connected through satellite, which is really the connection of last resort, yeah. because there's really nothing else available. Okay, and so you mentioned video. So YouTube is something that we do use as part of our business, and yes. it's around. But what's the profile of YouTube viewing in our department? We're actually a high user of YouTube, interestingly. Um, so we, uh, in our internet downloads, which is something that we can monitor through our uh, technology, half of our downloads are YouTube downloads. So one terabyte, which is quite a staggering amount of data, half of that, in increasingly more, a greater percentage, is YouTube. So do you want to reflect, Karen, on some of the external and the internal factors that are at play for us? So there's, there's some things that we can't control and some we can. So some of the external factors, Sandy, are that Australia itself is 44th in the world in terms of internet connectivity. That's not exactly a not really good achievement. Fabulous, no. And of course, um, because we're a state um, that has, you know, and we are a department with great uh, physical diversity and lots of different sites, there's a diff difference in what's achievable at what site. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are whole of government contracts that are uh, that we have to purchase from. There are physical limitations to what connectivity is available at what point. And I guess a great sort of example would be if you go driving, you'll find that your phone will in many spots not have coverage. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so then also it is then a, a matter of trying to manage the number of sites we have within the government constraints and also the budget that we have to manage all the sites that we have to manage. And so that's really the sort of the balancing act. Mm. And look, I, I heard certainly through this blog and other things that some of our staff were feeling like it was a, a personal thing or that yeah. they didn't matter. And I was really sad to hear that people thought that because yes. I, I know that there's all of these things that are playing around and, and we're limited by resources and so many things. I wondered what your reflection was on that. I must say I'm very sad to hear that as well because there's certainly no intent behind any of this. It is it is really a limitation on budget and availability of the network connectivity. And we are in essence punching above our weight as a department. We're the first ones to connect through NBN yeah. at Wollonga. We are looking at a mobile technology through cars for for field staff. We are redefining what a black spot is for the national black spot program and we've asked to have factors included that include tourism yeah. not just residents and the reason i'm mentioning that is for instance kangaroo island is a challenge the copper network there is quite old yeah. and and if you look at kangaroo island just uh, based on population it is not something a telco invests in with 400 dwellings so what we are bringing to the table on behalf of the department is to say yes but 150,000 visitors just for duna alone and can you redefine how you define a black spot because connectivity is really important for that as well. I mean, I, I really do want to reassure staff that we do think connectivity is a priority and we do have a prioritisation process that we're looking to do across all of the parts of our department. 
So that's one of the things, Sandy, that we're working on in particular with John's area, mm. uh, being one of the ones with most of the, the regional and remote sites, mm. and just to establish from a business point of view what are the priorities so that when we can invest, that we know where we invest first. Having said that, there are still some areas of the state where what we currently have is the only available thing. Mm. We've done the most we, we can. There's there. nothing yeah. else we can do. So Karen, after watching In The Loop today, what do you think, what would your advice be for staff who are having some problems? What can individuals do to make the situation a bit better? So I think one, a couple of tips would be, and when a Sandy video comes out, then maybe one really nice thing to do would be to watch it in a conference room or the morning tea. And what we do, I do actually personally, is I quite often watch it at home because it is on the internet, so it's yeah. actually not using the word connectivity. And uh, in terms of just regular work, it's maybe also being aware that some people's work can affect the performance, like great GIS files or that YouTube videos. And if you're in a really small office, just maybe asking, look, is anyone doing this type of work or doing it at certain times of day, early in the day, late in the day, just so it doesn't, um, it can minimise the impact on others. So Karen, thank you for this overview and for giving your time to this and I know that because there is so much interest in the department we're also having the Managers Forum in May is also looking at the issues so hopefully we'll keep building people's awareness and opportunities. So I'd like to say firstly thank you to Tammy Edwards who raised this issue for our discussion today and to remind everyone that the discussion board is open so we're looking for a range of issues to be raised for our next edition of In The Loop. It's important to remind everyone that we'll be answering questions and issues on the discussion board of In The Loop in between these video sessions so keep an eye out on the discussion board and you too can contribute to the ongoing conversation. So thanks to everyone for watching and we look forward to seeing you at the next In The Loop.